Hey, we're going to go through a procedure here and set front dead center for this engine. We're going to stop the crosshead if you'll come up a little closer with the camera. I've stopped the crosshead about a quarter inch from the end of the forward stroke and put this machinist clamp onto the slide bar. You can then rotate the wheel until the crosshead comes up and just gently touches the clamp. Now we put a punch here on punch mark on the frame. Set a pair of dividers, and we'll leave these dividers set at this point through the whole process. We come up here and we scribe a line on the wheel. We then rotate the crosshead backwards, bring it all the way around until it just touches the machinist clamp again. Then we come back, scribe a second line on the wheel. Now with another pair of dividers, you bisect the line between these two points by coming in here on your one line and you scribe a line here and you come over here and you scribe another line. And if you do this right, those two lines will intersect at a point. Now that when that point lines up with your punch mark here, the crosshead is exactly on top dead center, which I'll demonstrate. And we slowly bring the wheel around. That puts the crosshead on exact top dead center. This is important because at front dead center or top dead center, there is virtually no movement of the crosshead when the wheel turns, but there is movement of the valve at this point. So you really want to get this set accurately in order to get the valve timing set correctly. So the next process is at front dead center, we come up and look at the valve. And the valve here should be set line for line on, against the port. You then go to back dead center. I won't show the process, but you do the same thing with the clamp back here and you, you establish your exact back dead center. And a punch mark there. Then you come up again and look at the valve. And the back part of the valve should be exactly on back dead center. If the valve is open too far or not open enough, Equally on each front and back dead center, you need to come and adjust the eccentric. You adjust the eccentric. We're playing with forward gear here. You adjust the eccentric until the valve is set right on that, what you call line for line. That's it.